Hey guys, so in today's video, we are going to be looking at blending tools on Autodesk Sketchbook. So without any further ado, let's just get started. So guys, in this video, we are going to be looking at colorless brush set and also the smudge brush set. So the first thing is I'm just going to scribble just randomly so that we can use these brushes over it. Now the first brush set I'm going to show you is this colorless brush set. Now I'm just picking up this brush also. I'm not going to go into detail about the various brushes this brush set has. So once you know the basics around this brush set and how this actually works, you can actually go ahead and play around with these brushes later on. So yeah. Now also, what I've done here is I have increased the flow of the brush up to the max so that we can clearly see what is happening. Also, I have default advanced settings, so there are no specific settings that I have. So that's that. And yeah. Now I'm just going to go over these lines with this brush. Now, as you guys can see, you can still see the lines underneath it. Even after having the flow of the brush turned up to the max, we can still see the lines underneath it. Now, this tells us this brush does not really smoothen out everything that we have. It actually does the smoothening part of the smudging part really slowly and really nicely so yeah that's one thing to notice also when you go ahead and paint on a blank canvas with this brush after going over some particular color you can see that some of the color is still left on the bristles of the brush now just look at the name of this brush set it is colorless brush so it it is just that. It is just a brush which has no color and when you go over some color with your colorless brush, it actually spreads it out like this and also some of the color might come onto its bristles. That is why we can actually paint with it onto the blank canvas after painting over a specific color. I hope that makes sense. So if you have used a real life blending tool or q-tip while sketching onto the paper then you know what i'm talking about when you go over your sketch lines on paper with the q-tip and when you go over the blank canvas you actually see some of that shade still left onto the q-tip so that's how this brush actually works it does not really smoothens out everything that we have but it actually blends out things really slowly and also some of the colors get stuck to the bristles of the brush i hope that makes sense now i'm just gonna go ahead and use the smudge tool and let's just see what it does so again i'm just gonna scribble and i'm just gonna pick up some random smudge brush again not gonna go into detail about um uh, the various brushes this brush set has and also make sure making sure that the flow of the brush is up to the max so that we can clearly see what is happening now i'm just going to go over this shade right here now as you guys can see it is actually blending out everything you cannot really see those lines anymore and also it is also blending out the canvas color with that black color as you guys can see if i move from canvas to this part of the sketch you can see i actually just pushed that white color right over this area and if i go from this area to the white canvas i am actually pushing this black color onto the white canvas now this is actually working exactly the same as the blending tool in procreate works so we can now say that smudge tool is blend tool that we use on procreate so if you have ever used procreate you know what i'm talking about i do have a video on blending tool um, on procreate as well so you might want to check that out as well so let me just pick up two colors so that we can understand it better so now i'm just going to pick up this smudge tool so when i go from black to blue i am actually pushing black color 
over the blue color and when I go from blue to black I am pushing the blue color over the black color now that's that's how this um, tool actually works and if you go in this circular motion it actually kind of smears the colors out it smears the both of the colors together like this so also the flow of the brush is turned up to the max that is why this brush is actually working like this also what happens now as i just showed you guys if i push these colors onto the canvas it does that and if i go from white color of the canvas to this these shades it actually pushes the white color over these colors now what if you do not really want to blend color of the canvas with your with your shades or with your painting i should say then for that you'll have to lock the layer and then you'll have to blend it now as you can see it is not really pushing that white color anymore it is it is just blending the two colors that we have into the layer so that's the basic for this brush so that's with the high flow or high opacity now what happens when we decrease the flow of the brush let's just see that as well so I'm just gonna decrease the flow of the brush up to maybe 25% and that is fair enough now it is actually blending it out really nicely really smoothly you cannot really see those harsh lines harsh blending lines as we did when the flow was up to the max you can actually turn it down a bit more i'd suggest 15 percent, 15 to 16 percent would be good to go and it is blending out everything just perfectly so that's how this tool works and i would suggest you guys you know decreasing the flow of the brush while you're working especially when you are creating some shadows or some highlights onto your paintings then you are going to have really nice looking really nicely blended colors with the decreased flow of the brush i hope that makes sense now once you understand how this brush set works you can actually go ahead and play around with the different brushes it has so i would highly recommend you guys to kind of sit down do not draw anything just you know have two colors right by each side of it like i have right here and then just go ahead and go crazy with this with these tools just to understand it better so that you know what works and what doesn't work for your type of artwork or the type of artwork that you do so i really hope you guys enjoyed today's quick tutorial and if you did please do not forget to give this video a big thumbs up also subscribe to my channel and i post every monday and friday and also if you do create something out of my tutorials then tag me on instagram and i will see you guys the next time